Let's take a look at the import options in WaveLab Pro 10. If we click on the file browser on the upper left corner here, you can navigate different hard drive or different section of your hard drives. You can select the file type you'd like to import. You can select any audio files and play, monitor it from here. You can see a graphical representation of the selected WAV file in the bottom here, and you can actually play a section of it, for example, of that file to hear it. At this point, I can drag and drop this file into a blank file group, and it will automatically create an audio editor file. Now, I can select multiple file if I'd like to, and drag and drop within the tab here section, and it will automatically add all the files that I just selected into here in a different tab, selected tab. So I have multiple files now, all those selected files are here in the file groups. I can also select a file and drag it, drop directly on top of another file. So for example, you can see that green bar here and I can paste this file, key drop, directly on top of another file. Now you can add a file you can also access, under Open, the browser, which is the same browser that you have on the upper left corner here, in this case, with all the same options. You can play back and select the file. You can see graphical representation of the file. But you can also display recent files and select different files that you'd like to import or open. Your favorite. You can also open an audio montage files, batch processors, existing project, DVD audio, podcast, and script directly from the file section, open section here. Now let's go back to the view tab where we have a file group where we have a bunch of audio editor files that we just open. In this case, I'm going to create another type audio montage, which is going to create a channel of 48K. And I can just Again, through the browser, select a bunch of files and drag and drop directly in my audio montage file group. Now, in this case, I get preferences options. I can stagger files on two alternative tracks, which is a great idea. If you have a CD, for example, you'd like to uh, master and you'll have them each song on a different track. In this case, I'm going to place it on each file on a separate track. So I click OK, you can see all the tracks been inserted in a different track. Finally, under File, Import, you can import videos, DDP, CDQs, AES31, basic audio CDs, XML files, and known audio files, address as audio CD. It will automatically detect if you have an audio CD inserted, if you have a CD-ROM, and you can select the different tracks that you'd like to import, as well as file groups directly from here.